Good morning, I'm Stephen Ben-Danoon. You are watching Israeli News Live. Abbas has submitted his resolution to the United Nations to be accepted as state by 2017, taking over Judea and Samaria, also allowing millions of other refugees, Palestinian refugees, and their descendants to move into Israel, the 1948 borders, a plan that would basically decimate the entire country of Israel. He also claimed that there would be two capitals, both East and West Jerusalem, East being the Palestinian capital and West being Israel's capital. The article was uh, posted in Israel National News, Abbas hints withdrawal, first right of return later. Uh, the Palestinian Authority, as it says here, Mahmoud Abbas <clears throat> on Thursday explained the strategy behind the PA's United Nations resolution submitted on Wednesday, which seeks to impose an Israeli withdrawal from Judea and Samaria and Eastern Jerusalem by 2017. In his remarks, Abbas hinted that the PA seeks to first of all force Israel to concede territory and then will force Israel to accept millions of Palestinian refugees. Uh, who fled Israel during the 1948 War of Independence and their descendants. Quite frankly, a suicide mission, if you ask me. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu responded on Thursday to the PA's unilateral move on the UN, saying Abbas thinks he can threaten us with unilateral steps. He does not understand that they will result in a Hamas takeover in Judea and Samaria, just as previously occurred in Gaza. Now, the only thing is, is a little surprise that uh, the Prime Minister did not go further with his comment and only pulling back and saying what would happen in, as a result. Uh, it's quite evident that the 1967 borders will be agreed upon. They will come to pass uh, because clearly it does say it in the, in the Tanakh that the land will be divided and what God's opinion of this will actually be. So the land will definitely be divided and it will actually bring Israel to a place of great pain according to the prophet Micah in the Tanakh. So we know it's only a matter of time and we're waiting to see exactly when this will begin to occur. Um, and quite frankly, it's probably sooner than what we anticipate. The United States also is expected to veto the resolution because they do not quite agree with what is in the resolution, and you have to understand the United States is the military wing for the Vatican, so therefore it's what the Vatican is looking to get out of this, and we know according to Ezekiel, the prophet there, that he has prophesied that Rome clearly uh, decides that they want both these two nations. So therefore, they will be split, will be two nations, and Rome's full intention is for this to take place so that they can have both rulership over both nations. However, the prophet does say they do not realize that Hashem was there and that he's the one that will be the ultimate decider. I'm Stephen Ben-Danun with Israeli News Live.